Last time I checked, we weren't in Nazi Germany for you to ask me for my identification anytime I, you wanted to. Okay, we well, had a couple of people come and call and say that you were being out here being suspicious, taking pictures and videos of people's cars. People's cars? That's my car. All right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull reporting here, and check out this epic video out of Romeoville, Illinois. We have an epic ID refusal, First Amendment audit situation where a police officer tried to stop and ID a individual who was performing an audit outside of a police station. Guys, it's totally epic. You're gonna wanna check it out right now, and we'll catch you soon. And they're running? And they're running. What are you doing? What are you doing? How you doing? Hi. What are you doing? I'm videoing. For? For me. Okay. Can I have an ID? Did I break the law? Well, you're walking around okay. taking pictures of people's stuff and everything. And yeah. Sure am. And what for? For me. I just told you that. Okay. Well, what don't you understand of that? Well, for me, it leaves a lot of stuff open. Yes, sir. Sure does, doesn't it? Last time I checked, we weren't in Nazi Germany for you to ask me for my identification anytime I, you wanted to. Okay, well, I had a couple of people come and call and say that you were being out here being suspicious, taking pictures and videos of people's cars. People's, people's cars? That's my car. It was over there. It's just the information that I was given. People's cars? Those are all my cars over there, too. There's regular people's cars over there. Yeah, those are all my cars over there. No, no, no. You know, there's a yeah, private citizen's over, cars over there. there. Those are all my cars. Okay. So, you don't want to tell me what's... Do you got a body camera on or anything? No, I don't. Okay. Well, let me get mine on you, because... Okay. Is there a reason why you're doing this, or...? Because I want to. Okay. Is there a reason why I can't? Well, like I said, somebody called and said that you were suspicious. Okay, so oh, you're doing stuff. Then your job is to walk out here and say, "Oh my God, he's doing a First Amendment protected activity." Okay. I now should we're just somewhere. I should just say thank you and go. Okay, now you've answered that question. I don't need to answer a question. Okay, you just told me you're doing a First Amendment protected activity. But okay. I don't need to answer that. Do you, to you want to give me your ID? No, I do not. Have a nice day. Thank you. What's your name and badge number, please? It was on my shirt. You should have caught that on video. Um, isn't it the policy for you to say your name and badge number when you approached me? Okay. If you're going to be a jerk, I can. I'm not being a jerk. Okay. You asked me for my it's ID. Right here. It's it? not. No, I can't read. Okay. It's I lucky. went to Romeoville Schools. I can't read. It's Luckett and it's 355. That was so hard for you to do. Answering my question would have been so easy to do. Too. I don't have to answer your questions. How did I say? No, you're not. Yes, I am. If you were nice and polite to me, you would have followed your policy and said what your name and your badge number was. Instead, you you did the same thing that all you ignorant do. You know, it's right here. It's right here. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and let you. There you go. Right. Walk of shame. Have a nice day. Yeah, get laid, you piece. Have a nice day, sir.